what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Listen Doctor Radio, and I am your host of the show, the Listen Doctor. Today, I'm talking about a serious issue, and that serious issue is gun control. A lot of people was texting me last night doing the show about different topics they wanted me to talk about on Talk To Me Thursdays. And um, the topic that I choose to talk about was gun control. A lot of people don't realize what gun control is or what does it mean to have gun control, to be gun control, to be gun safety. We want our gun rights, people who have gun licenses. We want our gun rights to have bare arms. We want our right to do these things. We want our rights to do the things that we need to do to protect ourselves. But what are we doing to protect our kids? Today, I'm going to let you guys input. I want to get you guys input on a story that was sent to me, a mother. It's now she is born. She's she she's she's about to be sentenced to 15 years in Washington Washington City Jail, in Washington City Prison. She was sentenced. She was about to, she's going to be sentenced. She thinks she's going to get 15. She was sentenced to 15 years in prison last week in a court date. Her name is Miss Natasha Brown. Natasha Brown. Her name is Natasha Brown. She's 28 years old. She's married. And she is currently on house arrest right now awaiting her going to jail her trial or whatever and they say she might face up to 15 years um the story is i'm gonna put the link up there for you guys to see it the story is her husband her and her husband share a gun cop closet i guess a gun lock uh safe and her husband was gone hunting and he forgot to lock the case and she was outside hanging up clothes or something she was outside doing laundry in the laundry room she walked in to check on her son he was okay so she felt like you know he was all right so she walked outside to finish doing what she was doing and when she came back her son was still in his playpen doing you know, playing with his toys. She said she went to the, the car to get the groceries out. And before she can even get the bag out, she heard a boom. She ran inside to see what was going on, see if her son was okay. Her son admittedly died on the scene. He shot himself in the face. She blamed herself for it so much. And she was on their parent home. And her husband was on a way on a hunting trip. When her husband came back home to see the, the cops there, and he was pro, he was being uh, prosecuted, and he's being prosecuted and talked about, and wanted to know what gun was it. And uh, she was on the parent at the time at the house. So I want you guys input. Do you think this mother should be liable? Or should you think the husband should be liable and it was his gun? He, he's the one that unlo unlocked the gun case and left it unlocked. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to think about that. I'm open up the polls. Polls are open. So I'm going to give you guys some time to think about that while I go finish doing what I was doing right quick. And we will continue with the topic. So take a little minute. Talk about it. Let me know what y'all guys think. Let me know if you think she should, and uh, we'll go from that.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Uh, let's get to the topic. Do you think this mother, 28-year-old mother, should be put in jail from leaving for her husband leaving the gun case open? We have five people online. We have four people on YouTube, and we have eight people on the website. All together, they are still chatting, I guess. Right now, we have two people that text in. Ki, Ki, Kiante, Kiante from, what's one of my friends from Popeyes? What's happening, Kiante? Kiante put, um, no, I think the husband should be locked up because it was his fault he left the gun case unlocked. He should be the one that was be put in jail for that, not her. She did anything, she didn't do anything wrong. All she did was make sure her son was okay and how she was supposed to know he didn't lock the case. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, let's go to... This is one of my Facebook friends. Go to Kyle. Kyle said exactly like she said. He should be locked up. He was the one that was supposed to lock the case after going in. This is one of the main reasons why I keep my gun locked in my car. I have a gun inside the house that I keep locked up in the closet above uh, 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 above from anything on, at the top of the shelf where no one can get it. No one even knows it's there. I don't even allow, I don't even allow my sons in my room when I'm there or when I'm not there. I think a room, a master room where you be at with your wife or your husband is supposed to be secretive. I don't even let my sons play in my room. One of the things they did wrong was to let the kids know and they put it on the floor in the closet. That is so easy to get to. You're right about that. Um, let's go to... It is... Let's see what this is. Alright, it's from my cousin. My cousin, Ronald. Ronald said, absolutely, absolutely. Appaloosely, Appaloosely, I think she and him both should be charged because it was their gun case. No one needs to have a gun case around kids like that. It should have been up safety, safe from anyone. What if a robber would have came in and the case was unlocked? It would have been easy pickings for him to do anything he wanted to. So yes, they both need to go to jail. If you ask me, thank you, Ronald. Um, that's just you know we got like about four or five minutes left to the show in for tonight. Um, so what you guys think, man? Do you guys think that she should? Do you guys think that it was as you know it's all misunderstanding? She was trying to do her best to try to do what she had to do, and it just happened. What you guys think? Um, this is Talk To Me Thursdays, man. Y'all talking to me right now. I have a surprise for you guys that's coming up in a week. <clears throat> that's coming up later on this week. It might be on, might be Saturday. I might give it to y'all. It might be Saturday or Sunday. I'll give y'all what's going on. What, uh, what I got planned for you guys at the Listen Doctor Nation. Oh. I was just baffled about the story, man. I heard it. But it's not surprising. Because I heard it before. Um, um, the story we're going to be talking about tomorrow is a brand new story that's coming to me. Someone sent me. And it's something that I want you guys to really pay attention on because it's a really serious issue. Um, um, like if you fuck gun rights. Like if you not fuck gun rights. Like the page to subscribe to the YouTube. I cannot press and say that enough. Stress that enough. Please, when you log into the website at the bottom of the page, if you want to like the page at the Listen Doctor Radio on Facebook, like it. But please also go subscribe on YouTube. That helps me out. Go and watch the videos. Go check them out. That helps me out because it's let Facebook and YouTube know that my fans are on the right. Um, I do pretty good. This week, I only average from today, from yesterday and today, no today, really, I only average today 69, 60, 672 people all together from my posts, from my videos, everything. That's pretty okay for one day. 
where we can do better. Listen to Dr. Nation. So really help me get that up. And I'm going to reveal the picture. I think I put it up there already. The Listen to Dr. Nation picture uh, logo. That's going to be up there too. I'm going to make a shirt for that. And I'm working on a shirt coming for that. So um, let's go to a couple of more answers and response to that. And then we're going to have our final thoughts. <laughs> Right, this is Jo Jojo. Jojo said, um, definitely she should be locked up because if she knew her husband was going fishing, she should have made sure that gun case was up and locked. And yes, he needs to go to jail too because if it was his fault, leaving the case unlocked, his son is now dead. It's really a sad story when we have cases like this because these parents are not following the gun license, the gun rules. This is the main reason why we have a lot of people out here with guns on the streets. So yes, I think she both. I think they both need to be locked up. Thank you for that. Um, a lot of people say, you know, they think it is. My final thought on it is, if we keep these guns off the streets, maybe our presidents and our mayors and city council people might not might not try as hard to get these guns away from us. They want to take our gun license already as it is. So why are we giving them? Why are we giving them the fuel to take our gun license? We need our gun license because something happens, somebody fire come after you. You need something. You need something to have. Um, you need something to keep yourself protected at all times. So I think we really need our gun license. I'm gonna fight for it. If you believe that we need it, we keep fight for it, man. Because the only thing you can do is, is um, you know, you get a gather, you get a crew. And then it can do is try to come after all of y'all. We got a group and we, we organized. It cannot take us all. This is Listen to Our Radio. I love you guys. I will be back tomorrow, Friday. And we will see you guys a little bit later. Let's get it.